What's up, YouTube? Knife Crazy here. I have a uh, pro tech for you today. Uh, if I remember correctly, I made a lot of videos. And it's hard to remember all, but I believe this is the first pro tech on my channel. So it's the first one, but it probably won't be the last one. And this is a good first one, put it that way. Pretty cool little guy here. And uh, when I say little guy, let me show you what I mean here. This is a paramilitary two. Okay, and there's the knife, the whole knife. <laughs> so the entire thing is the length of the blade on the PM2, closed, obviously. Anyway, that was a little comparison, a little size comparison, in case you wanted to, couldn't tell how small it was. I mean, there's my middle finger there about the size of my middle finger so this is the uh, protect runt as you see right there it's the j4 the serial number on it this is a california legal automatic because it is two inches or below so this is a 1.94 inch blade auto here's the push button auto and watch how strong this little joker fires i mean i am serious it is pow i mean that is crazy there's that little little satin blade see the little grind lines here and looks like stone wash up here on the flaps obviously usa made 154 cm blade steel tip down clip and what makes this little guy special is it has that maple burl wood inlays on it so it makes it a real nice package uh gentleman's folder little gentleman's automatic knife um, yes it gives you a pocket clip but um this isn't to me, not really a pocket clip kind of knife because it's so small. I mean, it really is. Um, it, it's just to me more of a take the pocket clip off and throw it in your pocket kind of knife. But it needs to be the only thing in your pocket. Yes, the, uh, the button is recessed some. So it's not completely flat and it's not bulging up. So it takes a, let, let, let's give it a try. All right, I'm gonna push on this with the flat part of my thumb here without sticking the point of my thumb in there. Let's see if I can get it open. Nope. So as long as it's flat pushing, it won't open. You have to really mean to get in there and push it, which that's good. So if you did have it in your pocket and you accidentally just pushed up against it because let me tell you guys uh you don't want this little guy opening in your pocket I, I don't know what kind of springs or whatever they use on these little protex but this i mean that is watch this i hold it loosely what i mean it just fires out of there with authority you got the black let's look up close here black coated aluminum handles with the burl inlays you can see it from the top has that one little opening here and that otherwise solid construction other than that little hole let's look at the centering looks good i mean that is I don't even know if the, I mean, if the, if the sound can do it justice, but listen up close. I mean, that is a crack. I mean, it's like hitting a baseball out the park. It is a cool little gentleman's knife. And uh, you California guys and gals, y'all can actually carry this there legally. Huh. I'm from South Carolina, so I don't have to worry about any kind of non-legal knife. I think the only illegal knife to have in South Carolina is 
something that was back in the books a long time ago, like in the pirate days or something. I think it's a, a dirk is what they call it. That's the only thing that's illegal to carry, which is like a little mini sword. But there it is. That's pretty much about all I got to say about it. Um, showed it off, showed it up close. It, uh, it only weighs two ounces. So that's, you don't even know it's in your, park, in, in, in your pocket there. But let's see, let's do the open PM2 next to it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> even open, is, it's almost the size of the PM2's handle, the whole length of the knife. So that gives you an idea how small it is. So if you're looking for a little small auto, check out Protec, they're pretty cool. Pretty nice little knives. All right guys, thanks for watching. This is Knife Crazy. We're out of here. Bye.